Welcome back to Trinity Talks. I am presently reading through the book of Genesis and the other day I was reading how Esau was wronged by his brother Jacob. How Jacob not only tricked him into selling his birthright, but also stole the blessing of the firstborn. Before the birth of these twins, Rebekah, their mother, had been told by the Lord in Genesis 25, 23, that the older will serve the younger. Rebekah was not going to allow Isaac to bless Esau, so she devised a deceitful plan. But Isaac was also guilty as he disregarded what had been foretold by God and planned to bless Esau before he died. Genesis 27, 41 says, Esau held a grudge against his brother Jacob because of the blessing his father had given him. He said to himself, the days of mourning for my father are near. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. Wow, we have seen this before where an older brother plotted against a younger brother and the first murder was committed. In Genesis 4, we read the account of Cain and Abel. Cain did not bring an acceptable sacrifice or offering to God, while his younger brother did. Verses 5 to 7 say, So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must master it. Anger. It is a strong emotion you experience when you think someone has done wrong to you. It is a powerful emotion you feel when someone or something has frustrated or annoyed you. Anger is a secondary emotion. There is a root to anger. Injustice, jealousy, hatred, rejection. And if anger is not handled correctly, the individual may seek vengeance. Gary Chapman in his book, Anger, says, for someone who internalizes anger, the end result will be an explosion, some act of violence toward the person who wronged them. Well, Cain murdered Abel. And now we see Esau is thinking of doing the same to Jacob. However, Jacob is warned and he flees to his uncle Laban, who lives far, far away. Twenty years later, Jacob returns to the land of his father and becomes very fearful when he hears that his brother Esau is coming to meet him and he's bringing 400 men with him. How is Esau going to receive him? Was he coming with all these men to kill him and his family? But we read in Genesis 33, 4, but Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they wept. This is not the reaction of an angry man. Apparently, God had changed the heart of Esau over the 20 years that they were apart. The tales of two brothers. Cain allowed anger to overtake him and he killed his brother Abel. Esau over time forgave his brother Jacob for the wrong that had been done to him and sought reconciliation. Are you struggling today? Has someone wronged you and you are plotting against this individual? Max Licato says, the key to forgiving others is to quit focusing on what they did to you and start focusing on what God did for you. Examine your heart today. Don't allow anger to cause an explosion of violence towards another, but seek to be reconciled to that individual. Gary Chapman says, anger was designed to be a visitor, never a resident in the human heart. I'm going to repeat that. Anger was designed to be a visitor, never a resident in the human heart. Have a great day. Be blessed and stay safe.